video i'm filming a get ready with me i haven't done this in a whole minute so i'm really excited to do this i asked you guys on instagram to send me some live update questions i guess um because i just feel like i haven't talked to you guys in a very long time and i just wanted to talk to you guys so without any further ado let's get started with the video so I'm just gonna start off with the first, the most broad question, which is how is life? Any plans for the Christmas holidays? And meanwhile, I'm gonna use the Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer. Um, I just finished my exams. Um, if you guys didn't know, my school does a lot of exams, and when we have exams, it's a very stressful period, especially for me. I kind of struggle to handle stress, so it was very hectic for me. But now I just finished, so these past few days I've been a bit more chill, more relaxed. I also did my ACT yesterday. It went, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I really just cannot wait to see the results. The reading and the writing were uh, for me. Like, under exam conditions, it's very hard for me to, I guess, understand the text. The text, they are hard. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm the only one, but sometimes when I read like the ACT text and then I um, go to the questions, I kind of don't understand what they are asking me or what I'm reading. I probably sound super dumb, but yeah. The math portion was fine. I should be good with math if I didn't do any like calculation errors or if I didn't like misread the question. Um, so overall, I don't know, just crossing my fingers that I get a good grade. I, to be honest, didn't study a lot for it because I just didn't. Um, I got, um, let me show you guys. Oh, well, I don't want to get it. But I got the um, Princeton University ACT prep book, which is like a book this thick. And I really do recommend you guys to get that. That really, really helped. I did that book like the day before the exam. And I feel like that kind of saved me. If I, if I didn't practice using that book, I would have, you know, come out of the exam crying. So, yeah. Now I'm going to use the Hera black cushion i got this in the summertime and i got this nearly because jenny um is the ambassador of this line and i honestly love this cushion it's one of the best cushions that i've ever tried and this is like one of the few cushions that i stick to like i have tons of cushions in my drawers that i used once and never went back to it yeah i'm in the shade 25 for the christmas holidays my sister is coming back home from college i don't i'm not gonna do anything because i already went to new york in november and i don't want to spend more money traveling although i would love to go to paris but the flights are kind of expensive so i don't think that's happening so i'm just gonna stay at home catch up on a lot of schoolwork i'm gonna try to get my tok essay done and tons of internal assessments done and just hang out with my sister i guess well actually my sister she, she's gonna abandon me with her friends so <laughs> yeah so the next question is what schools are you trying to apply to in the u.s i think i've mentioned this a couple of times my applications for two fashion schools are completed so i, I applied to fat and lim i also applied to Berk berkeley berkeley new york and actually already got in and i got like a quarter of scholarship i don't know if that school is like good um but yeah that's kind of just my backup school i guess it's really cool because i applied while i was in new york and the moment that i applied for they gave me the offer like they told me that i got in the school so that was weird and cool and then all the schools i'm applying in the u.s i'm applying to nyu that's like my top trade school but you guys know the tuition um i kind of am trying to apply to nyu just to kind of get the acceptance letter or try to get the accept acceptance letter like even if i get in i don't think i'm gonna go there because just the tuition is just crazy i don't know if i want to apply to parsons because there's this parsons challenge that i need to do and I kind of don't have time or the motivation to do that. So that's kind of in the air. So yeah, I'm not applying to that many schools in the US. Just mainly these. Maybe a couple more. Maybe Pace University or Baruch 
university just all in the new in the, in new york city the next question is what is your favorite song of the moment and now i'm gonna use the pony effect um concealer i love this concealer so much well my favorite song at the moment has been these three songs well four songs actually uh, the first song is called love songs by cash page funny thing i saw a tiktok video um of a girl like dancing to this song but i fell in love with this song yeah i love this song a lot and then the other three songs are by kuko kuko is has become my favorite artist the songs that i really like are keeping tabs hydrocodone hydrocodone and amor de siempre amazing i love 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 these songs i should film a favorite video i haven't done that in a while i just share with you guys what i've been listening to i'm not gonna blend with my beauty blender i don't i'm not gonna wet my beauty blender i'm too lazy for that the next question is what are your plans for 2020 my plans for 2020 is graduate from IB and uh, I also plan on mm, going to college <laughs> and maybe travel a little bit in the summertime um kind of spend my last high school year with friends and yeah I would love to film more videos but I never really understood why people kind of stopped making videos because of school like they always say because of school and stuff and never really kind of understood that but now i understand because school can really suck you up like time i do have to film videos but is that when i film i kind of put up the video and i don't edit it instead i just lay in bed just watching videos youtube videos or like netflix just because i get so tired from school and i just need to kind of replenish my energy like i'm always like i'm gonna film today but i never end up doing so and instead I just lay in bed and lay in bed doing nothing. Now that the base is done, the concealer does look kind of white. I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs bronzer. This thing is huge. Yeah, this is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze in the shade 104. Fantastic. Amazing name. Ooh, that's really pigmented. Oh by the way, I'm wearing my earrings with Anna Luisa collab. Get yours before this date if you want to get it as a gift for friends and family for christmas if you order it before this date then it will guarantee that um it will arrive on time i'm also gonna contour my nose a little bit the next question is of how often do you work out or go to the gym what is your diet i get this question a lot like you guys are always asking me how much do i weigh what do i eat how much do i work out mm, this is a very touchy subject and um i don't know if i want to talk about i don't know it makes me kind of uncomfortable to talk about it i actually gained weight um in the summertime i started to have the bad habit of binge eating and i gained a lot of weight um i'm still not kind of ready to talk about my relationship with food but um i don't know how i feel about it. it makes me kind of uncomfortable like on one side it's good that i've gained weight but on the other hand i'm just kind of like eh. okay this is really awkward i'm so sorry guys but um now i don't work out as much as before i swim two times a week and then i try to walk as much as I can. I usually would go on walks with my mom around my neighborhood or I would walk on my treadmill while listening to a podcast or watching some you uh, some YouTube videos. I used to run a lot but I just stopped running basically. I really did enjoy running though. Uh, it made me feel pretty good but I just stopped. I don't know why. And my diet right now I eat whatever I want. I am not vegetarian or vegan anymore i started to eat chicken and fish a little bit of beef no pork usually i try to eat cleaner throughout the week and then on the weekends is my cheat days i guess i um go out and eat and just eat what i crave basically yeah so maybe for my what I, my goals of 2020 maybe it's um kind of work out a little bit more like before and get and get back in shape now i'm gonna use my dior backstage brow powder you guys or you guys already seen my um eyebrow routine a bajillion of times already so now i'm gonna do my eyeshadow i'm gonna be using the dior backstage eyeshadow palette in the color ember neutrals the colors are so pretty 
exactly i always start off with this shade over here which is like a brownish shade and i just use that as a transition color all over my lid the next question is how do you make money so i'm proud to say that i am financially independent i'm actually paying taxes <laughs> which is a very cool thing and stressful thing at the same time i make money through youtube obviously I, I think that you guys already know how it works but basically the ads that you watch on my videos those are like the things that give me revenue through my videos so if you guys like have an ad please don't skip it um i gotta pay my tuition <laughs> just kidding i also once in a while do sponsorships and also do get paid from sponsorship if i do get paid it will be in the description box like it will be stated whether the video is sponsored or not and then another way that i also make money is through affiliate links so whenever i link any products that i use for example the makeup that i use today for example i will link them in the description box and then if you guys like click on the links and purchase through my link like if you guys purchase it i do get a little commission through that it's kind of like a sales assistance job like if you work as a sales assistant at a store and you sell something uh, to a customer then you get a little a little commission at the end of the month so that's kind of similar to that and then i'm gonna go in with like a big fluffy brush from this one for example from sigma my favorite makeup brushes are all from sigma they work super well and i'm just gonna kind of blend the color so that it looks less harsh the next question is how to choose the right clothes to buy if you guys know me i love shopping and i buy a lot i have way too many clothes in my closet but i've i've come up with this very efficient strategy okay let me tell you guys um meanwhile i'm gonna use this color over here and i'm just gonna apply that all over the lid i've come up with this very useful strategy where i would if i see something i'm interested in purchasing then i would take a picture of it and just try it on and blah 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 but i won't buy it at the moment instead i would just go home and just sleep off the night and if uh if the next day i still think about that clothing item then i will go back and purchase it probably online or going back to the store but if the next day i have already forgotten about the item then you know i just won't purchase it naturally that has been working really well for me it just prevents me buying way too much i'm also gonna blend this color to my outer corners this color is so pretty i'm gonna zoom you guys a little bit and then once again i'm taking this big fluffy brush to blend the color now i'm taking this mini detailed brush i'm taking this dark brown color here and i'm just gonna line my eyes um, make it more smoky okay now I'm gonna do my eyeliner I use this kiss me smooth liquid eyeliner this is my favorite one I just do a very thin wing like that okay this one this one have turned out not that good but whatever and now I'm just gonna use my Shuamura eyelash curler and apply mascara but for the actual mascara, I like to use an eyelash like base and I've been really liking this the Your Show Maximizer 3D Triple Volume Plumping Lash Primer. I've been really liking this mascara. This is the Facio Long Mascara. It has a very thin um, wand, so it's perfect for small eyes like mine. This mascara just gives a very clean look. And it's also really easy to apply for the lower lashes because of the amazing wand that it has. Last but not least though, for the eyes, I'm gonna put in some shimmer in my inner corner. That really just brightens up the eye look. I'm using the same Dior palette, I'm using this shade here. And now that I remember, another goal of mine for 2020 is to get my car license. I'm turning 18 in February. So um, tomorrow I'm gonna have my first uh, theoric class, like um, I don't know how that's called in English but in Spanish basically we divide the car exam in two, we have the teórico and the práctico, the th teórico which is the theoretical part of the 
car, driving a car, you know, the how to read signs and what to do and not to do when you're driving. And then the second part is practico, which is um, actually learning how to drive a car. Now I'm gonna use blush. I'm using the NARS blush in the shade Torrid. I got this when I was in New York and I love this color. Basically, I am very afraid to get my car license. I get pretty anxious in a car and I don't know, the fact of driving a car is very scary to me. So fingers crossed, that's gonna go well for me and I can get my car license as soon as I turn 18. I feel like this blush is a little bit too pink and it doesn't really match the eyeshadow look, but I already applied, so whatever. And now for highlighter, I'm using the Fenty Beauty highlighter and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this color. The one here is called the Hustle Baby. Wow, look at that. Okay, now, lastly, for the lips. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one. This color here. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the Roman um, lipstick in the color 11. Hmm, yeah, I like this color. It's so hard for me to apply lipstick nowadays because I have braces and whenever I kind of have any mouth movement, it hurts. Hmm, I do feel like it might have been too red. And that's the finished makeup look. So that was everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was really fun to talk to you guys again and I really miss this. Um, so please leave me some video requests that you want to see and I'll try to make them if I have time, obviously. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.